What's up everybody, my name is Lehua and welcome to the Super Fina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcast Across Worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Super Fina. Today we are reviewing some of Spider So What episode 15 and if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you want to help support the channel, we have Patreon and channel membership. Links to those will be in the description. Today we are reviewing some of Spider So What episode 15 did Mother and these annoying puppet spiders and this episode i feel like focused on mom why because we saw a lot of scenes with her and we talked about her in the beginning of the episode we have the parallel minds eating away inside of mom's head we are trying to destroy mom from within and magic mind parallel mind kind of noticed something weird and what she noticed was mom wasn't doing anything they were just eating away within her and uh, nothing was happening so magic mind one was like wondering okay what's mom up to this is weird and it turned out magic mind was right mom was plotting something something happened and then the parallel minds are like oh no we gotta go to komoko and warn her and they try to leave and there's a barrier mom put a barrier in her mind mom knew they were there it's like oh snap oh geez oh my goodness and then we see mom she's prepping for something she's prepping an attack she points up towards the ceiling and fires an attack she blows a hole in the ceiling in the labyrinth okay now there's another entrance to the labyrinth there's a big hole in the ground when i saw that i was thinking Okay, what does this look like 15 years later? Is it still there? Is this another entrance to the labyrinth? I'm just wondering, you know, did you guys think about that? I thought about that. Mom is out. She's after Komoko. She is going after Komoko on her own, herself. She's not sending out her siblings. And I, I don't see puppets yet. And mom is strong. Holy cannoli. I'm going to pull up her stats because she's got a lot of stuff on it. And there are some things that caught my eye so she's a queen tower tech level 89 what caught my attention were her titles so her titles are a kin eater fall eater poison technique user thread user assassin human slayer fear bringer merciless monster slaughter worm slayer dragon slayer champion monster calamity lord human slaughterer worm slaughterer and human calamity so what caught my eye was merciless champion monster calamity and lord the reason uh merciless and monster calamity caught my eye was because that time i was reincarnated as a slime usually monsters that have that title they can destroy countries they're that powerful and then the other thing that caught my eye was champion and lord what is mom a champion of why did she get that title and mom's a lord what kind of lord it doesn't say what type of lord she is is she a lord over spiders is she a lord over a territory is she is she a candidate to be a demon lord and that leads to is mom part of that group with the demon lord is she one of those people is she one of the women i'm thinking she might be either lady shield or the demon lord she could totally be the demon lord because the demon lord you see her outfit you know like her outfit she has like these things coming out that kind of look like spider legs and at the end of them there's these jewels red jewels well if you're looking at mom when she's outside chasing after komoko you look at her legs right before the end of the legs like right before the tip there's these red jewels so i'm thinking the demon lord could be mom i mean the demon lord can use spider-like techniques the demon lord apparently controls spiders i'm not too sure if that's lady shu or that's the demon lord but i think that's the demon lord and mom has the title lord okay so i i think she's the demon lord what do you guys think let me know in the comments back to episode 15. komoko is running away from mom mom has all of komoko's stats she's five times stronger than alaba mom is really powerful she even has like higher level attacks techniques skills affinities and whatnot way more than komoko komoko cannot defeat mom 
and Komoko is cut off from her parallel mines. And the parallel mines are what made her powerful. She was able to do physical attack, magic attack, and then advanced attacks all at the same time. Without those, Komoko is nerfed. Like, she's got no chance against mom. And she teleports. She teleports away to save herself. She ends up teleporting in the labyrinth. And you know what's waiting for her in the labyrinth? Her siblings. Mom was 10 steps ahead of her. Mom is really intelligent. So she's powerful and intelligent. I want to know what mom looks like when she's talking. I want to know what she sounds like. I want to know her thought process. Because Komoko is really interesting on her own. Imagine how mom is. Back in the labyrinth with Komoko and her siblings, there are about six arcs, I believe, and a bunch of other siblings. Kumoku is getting her butt kicked. She is injured. Her siblings have the same stats as her, maybe more powerful. And then a puppet shows up, a freaky looking puppet. And it looks like there's a spider in there and it's sort of controlling the puppet. I, I'm not too sure what's going on with that. It's, it's sort of reminding me of Gundam. Like there's someone inside a machine and controlling it. You know what I'm talking about? If you know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Besides that, this puppet is powerful. So it has a humanoid-like body, but it has about eight appendages. It's really freaky looking. It's really, 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 really freaky looking. And it's powerful. It has swords. I'm like thinking, where did the swords come from? And did mom make this puppet? If mom did make this puppet... Why did she make the puppet? How did she make the puppet? I got questions! Komoko is not in a very good situation. She's got about six arc spiders on one side and she got this powerful puppet spider on another side. <laughs> you know? So Komoko gets the idea that she needs to defeat one of her siblings. One that actually has like a low HP. Defeat that sibling, eat that sibling, and evolve. You know what? This puppet spider knew Komoko wanted to do that. The puppet spider was trying to prevent Komoko from doing that. It's like, oh goodness, Komoko, you are dealing with intelligent monsters. It, this is not like before. You have quite a challenge and you're nerfed, girl, Komoko. But Komoko's doing pretty good for a spider separated from her parallel mind. She's doing okay. She's doing all right. She did try to do the bullet attack, but her siblings and that puppet could, you know, deflect it. It's like, ooh, yikes. Kumoko is having a challenge. This just shows how powerful these spiders are. So 15 years later, with the humans battling with the demon lord, and there's a bunch of spiders out there, we have an idea how much of a hard time the humans were having we have an idea that the humans were losing like bruh if kumoko is having a hard time the humans are having a hard time and in this situation kumoko does not want to die she wants to survive she found one sibling that had a low hp she went after that sibling and the puppet spider knew who she was going after and the puppet spider laid out a trap Yo, this puppet spider also was 10 steps ahead. Now, I'm wondering if mom was controlling the puppet spider this whole time. So, that little spider that we see inside the puppet, the one that's like controlling it and such, I'm wondering if that was mom's mind, like a piece of her mind in there, like a parallel mind. I'm thinking about that because if Komoko has a parallel mind, does mom have parallel minds? I didn't really look in the stats too much in that. Actually, let me look at it right now. Yo, mom does have parallel minds. She has level 9 parallel minds. Okay, so this puppet could be mom's parallel mind. She's sneaky, she's conniving, she's intelligent. She is 10 steps ahead of Komoko. And with that trap that she laid out, the puppet spider tripped Komoko and then attached one of the webs to one of the arc siblings and then pulled that sibling down on Komoko to squish Komoko. That is dirty. That is horrifying. That's horrifying. Taking one of the siblings to squish the other. 
And to us, Komoko looks small, right? But Komoko is actually bigger. So I'm like wondering what that looked like. What did that literally look like? Again, Komoko is backed up in the corner. She doesn't want to die. So she uses her curse technique. She gets away. She finds that sibling that has a low HP. Puppet spider is trying to stop her. But then Komoko is like, uh-uh, I'm going to teleport out of here. So she teleports out of there and she eats that sibling, gets that XP, and she can evolve. And that's the end of the episode. After the credits, we see a scene, a little preview for the next episode, I'm assuming. And it's Shun with his party. They need to go to the elf village to save it from the human army, from Hugo and the church. But the route to the elf village is the labyrinth. They have to go through the labyrinth. I'm like wondering, okay, are they going to enter the labyrinth through entrance or through the hole that mom made? And is mom there? Is Kumoko there? Are they going to run into someone we've seen before in Komoko's timeline? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And that's my review of Soma Spider So What episode 15. Did Mother send these annoying puppets? What did you guys think about this episode? What do you guys think about this anime review? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there is a Discord. Discord link is available in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos do stop by the stream, have that one-on-one -on -one real-time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you guys like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is available in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this was the Superfina channel reviewing Soma Spider So What episode 15. Did mother send these annoying puppet spiders? Hope you guys like this video and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays. Thursdays and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump